Hey folks, Sean, Victorian Piper, long time no see again. Busy life, he's still super busy, so I do apologise, not been getting too many videos out at the minute. But today, I've got what's for me going to be quite a special video. And you'll hopefully find it interesting, because it's going to be a first impressions uh, in a very special pipe. And you don't see many reviews for these. And considering the manufacturer, how popular they are, both in the UK and the US, it's really a quite unknown blend. I mean, I don't know anyone who smoked it, but it appealed to me. And for the pipe I'm going to smoke it in, I think it couldn't be any more perfect. So the thumbnail and obviously title of the video is going to have given it away, but... What we will do is show you once more this wonderful 1891 Suskind Briar Pipe with silver collar and that amazing stem made by the master himself, Chris Shaw. BJB pipes. Absolutely stunning pipe. And I can't believe just, you know, how old it is. To think it's, you know, 1891, it's pretty amazing really that A, it's still around and in such good condition. I mean, it is amazingly good condition. Chris did a fine job of uh, polishing the thing up, uh, reamed it out, gave it a a bowl coating which you won't be able to see and obviously that wonderful stem using the Chris Kelly rod stock and he cleaned all the silver up I mean it's like a brand new pipe pretty amazing so I need to put this down just for a second without dropping it so it's been quite a long time between me actually buying the pipe Chris sorting out that new stem and cleaning it up for me and actually getting around to smoke it. Um, I'll be honest, I was in two minds. I was in two minds. I tended to just like to sit and look at the thing and handle the thing, you know. Um, again, that age and you know me, I love everything Victorian. Um, yeah, I just wasn't too sure. But when I started on this whole pipe smoking thing, I did think if I buy pipes, I'm smoking the things, you know, they're there to be smoked. So what better to go in a pipe that's well over a century old than J.F. Germain's Century. Lighting's not great in my garage here. It's quite a warm day. We've had pretty good weather uh, still in the UK, but it's quite breezy outside, so... Not really particularly suited to, to trying to do a, a sort of mini, a small video and first impressions when it's blowing a gale. So, I was about to say, I'll pop my glasses on and read what it says on the tin. Only I've got a sneaky feeling. Glasses case is empty. Right, okay. We'll do our best. Let me have a look. So, Jermaine Century, limited edition pipe tobacco, but I do believe it's available fairly frequently. Uh, so it's Cyprian Latakia, Dark Cavendish, Oriental and Virginia tobacco laced with rum and wine, cellared to age. Now, to me, that sounds delicious. So, this tin was very, very kindly sent to me by uh, Chris Coddington, Smoking Cardboard. He picked one up in a previous video of his some time ago when he was on his travels. And I said, if you ever find another one, I'd uh, really quite like a tin of that. And uh, next time he went travelling, he managed to pick up another tin and just sent it to me. So thank you again, Steve. I assume I'm going to enjoy it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it. So here we go. Nice, well sealed, considering it's travelled from the British Isles all the way to the States and back again. Let's have a look. Just the smell now is pretty delicious. It's 
smelling very fruit cakey. A little bit of coloration on the paper there. It's got a really quite a deep smell to it. It's a bit of a weird one this. I can smell the rum and the wine. A little bit of the Latakia. I don't know how much is in it actually. But all that is mixed in with that typical Germain's funk that uh, you get with their Virginias. Which is one of the uh, main appeals to me. So it's quite tightly packed in here. Let's have a look. See if I can put it up without tipping it. It's quite a dark mixture. Sort of a mix between a ribbon and a shag cup. Moisture level's good actually. I expected this one with its alcohol toppings to be a little bit uh, a little bit moist, but well, that's pretty good. But yeah, that smell, it's uh it's unusual, I'll give it that. Right then, so century pipe tobacco. Meets over a century old pipe. I'll get this loaded up and I'll come back when I've uh, got it underway and give you those first impressions. See you in a sec. Right, well, okay, we're uh, loaded to go, so let's get lit. Sorry, my friend, don't want to make you catch phrase. Straight away there was an immediate sweetness on that uh, charring light. Very sweet indeed. I've only about three quarters filled the bowl. I certainly don't want to damage it any. Plus, who knows when it was last smoked, so it looks perfect, so I'm hoping it is, but... Okay, so the sweetness has died back a little bit. The latter key is making itself known. Yeah, slightly Latakia forward, I'd say. You can taste the Orientals. And that, uh, as I said before, that Germain's kind of, um, that sort of aged, it's how they process it, but that aged uh, Virginia sort of funk their blends have, especially the brown flake. Well, straight off the bat, I thought I might, which is why I went out of my way, but tried to find a way of getting a tin of this. Because although it's packaged as the UK tins are, so, you know, it's packaged in a Germain's packaging rather than Esoterica, it does only seem to be for the US market.
there is a very distinct like I said it says rum and uh, red wine I think the red wine is definitely the forward flavor It's definitely pleasant however despite constantly puffing on it it's taken a little bit to get going but certainly seems to be quite tasty anyway I'll smoke this down a bit and I'll pop back towards the end of the bowl and give my final thoughts on it and also some thoughts on the actual pipe itself. Catch you in a sec. Well then, down to probably the last quarter of the bowl. It's quite a quick burning tobacco actually I think again due to that quite fine almost shag cut flavour has been very consistent the latter key dropped back a bit after that uh, first few minutes and I've got to be honest for me it's quite an addictive flavour but if I could compare it to another tobacco, or if you said what you know, what tobacco is that like? I've never had anything like it, to be honest. It's very full flavoured, but it's not uh, hot airy like a, an aromatic. I guess you would class it as an aromatic because that topping, that red wine rum topping, is prevalent all the way down. especially on the retro ale you really get the the rum and wine on the on the retro ale yes it's very very good but obviously as a bit of a, a fanboy of JF Germain's um, I don't think I was going to be disappointed And I'm not, but it's very, very different from any of the other Germain blends I've had before now. I can see why um, this one's quite divisive. And when there have been Germain drops in the US, this one, I believe, probably from the big online retailers, tends to disappear pretty quick. But I think it's how Steve's been able to pick this up and I've seen other people pick it up from small B&M's in that it's just not one of the more popular blends and it is quite an unusual taste uh, I'll certainly say we'll say that but yeah I, I quite like it it's um it's quite odd it's very tobacco-y almost like a really mild English in the mouth but like I say, that retro ale, you really get the the alcohol type toppings. Yes, very good. As per usual with these things though, get a tobacco, tin of tobacco like that you really like. Can't get it for love and money, but... Oh, come on, don't let me down now. There we go. And I must say I've had a nice 30 minutes or so daydreaming about when this pipe was last smoked. I mean, it's in such good condition. It's definitely been lightly smoked through its life and I suspect it spent a lot of that life in a drawer somewhere or in a cupboard. And I wonder who bought this when it was new, back in 1891. 
really does allow the mind to just wander a bit and and think. I mean, as much as I love my life in the uh, times we live in, with my family and friends, all the gadgets and video games I absolutely love, but I wouldn't change it. But I do often daydream about being born 150 years ago. And 150 years ago, I'd have been 20 when this was made. It could even have been my pipe from you. And I think that's sometimes what you can get from these objects, be it a new one you've had made. Gives you that time to ponder and think, and you might think about who made the pipe and you know the techniques they used, or you may not think about that at all. But for me, I like estate pipes, and this one in particular. Oh yes. But anyway, I'm going back into that daydream again. Don't want to keep you all day. So just to finish that off then, if you happen to find a tin, and obviously this is referring more to you guys in the US because that's the only market you can get it, I suggest you pick up a tin. If you don't like it, you can always pass it on to somebody else and they might like it. But yes, quite unusual, quite unusual, I will say that. I'm a bit annoyed at uh, Jermaine Stone release that here as well in the UK. I mean, Jermaine's full stop, he's so hard to get heat even here now um so even if they did i'd probably still, still struggle to get it but there you go so yes very interesting tobacco like i say quite heavily topped but still quite a bold blend very full flavored uh nicotine yeah i'm gonna say it's medium i mean this is only a small pipe but it is quite a deep bowl uh, and I've not eaten prior to this. I can feel it a tiny bit. So yeah, it's it's no powerhouse. It was never going to be really, was it, for the blend it is. But yes, uh, quite recommended. I might do another, or at least make a comment on this uh, some down, sometime down the line when I've smoked a bit more. But yes, that pipe. What an absolutely beautiful, beautiful pipe. And it gives me every reason to just drift off and be Victorian. So you'll be well. Hope you're all doing good. I'll see you again soon. Ta-da.